So the James Webb Space Telescope is a, it's a fascinating telescope because it's really big. There has never been a mission that is the same as James Webb. Everybody knows Hubble. Hubble became very famous because of all the fascinating pictures that are out there. And, and James Webb is called the successor of Hubble. But it's really, it's going to continue in that line of work somewhat because we still want to understand how the space, how the stars are formed, how galaxies are formed. So James Webb is going to look into that. But it's a lot bigger than Hubble. It's, Hubble is the size of a, of a bus, and James Webb fits on the tennis court. So, of course, it's a lot bigger. The primary mirror is 6.5 meters in diameter. So it's a very big telescope that is going to be really far, far away from us, approximately 1, one million miles away from the Earth. So it's just a, a very big project, a very big telescope, very new. It's going to be in this very specific spot. And because it's going to be in this very specific spot, it needs to. So it's going to be kind of like floating in a perfect location. It's not going to be moving around. And it has a big sun shield that is going to protect itself, let's, let's say, protect itself from the sun. Because if we get a lot of radiation from the sun, then it won't be able to measure appropriately. So when it has a sun shield, it's going to protect it from the sun in this very specific location because it's not going to be moving around. It's going to just be standing in this location just protecting itself from the sun. And the sun shield is very big. The telescope is very big. And there's a lot of new technology, infrared technology, that's going to be used in the telescope. And the size of the mirror is 6.5 meters in diameter. And we're going to put it into a trailer, which is a lot smaller than that. So we're going to fold the mirror in three, in three places. And there's a very good, cool video of this on the website. So the, the mirror is folded. And then when it goes, so it sends out in the, the rocket, it, it puts it out in space. And then once, once it is in space, it, it, it folds folds up together and it's just it's just like such a fascinating thing to see the video where the telescope is coming out of the rocket and it's unfolding to its to its original position so that's really cool